Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to show you how to make Kashmiri vur or spice cake. This is a great seasoning to perk up any dish as it's packed of tons of flavors. And I have tried to add almost all the flavors of Kashmiri cooking treasures from Mawal or Coxcomb to saffron. Moreover, I have done a slight innovation of making small tikkis so that we can use them for one time. So here you can see this is the big spice cake or vur that we usually break and use in the curry. So I have made small ones so that we can use just one 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 vur at a time. These tiny or mini vurs. And moreover, I'll be showing you if you have to store them in jar, how we will do that. So here you can see. show you the big vur says so that's the usual vurs that we make in kashmir and then i have made these mini ones this is a big one and this is a mini one that can be used one time for one curry without breaking the big ones so let's get started for making vur i have taken around 300 grams of garlic that i have peeled and 300 grams of peeled shallots or prawn important thing is that you have to take equal measurements of prawn and garlic if you are taking 300 grams of one you have to take 300 grams of other one that's an important thing and kashmiri red chili powder 750 grams then i have taken salt around 1 tablespoon cumin seed powder or zeera powder i have taken around 1 tablespoon if you don't have you can skip it then i have taken i have crushed black cardamom pods here i'll show you see the, like this i have crushed them and i'm saving the outer skin also we can use it still we can use it in curries we are not going to discard it so here it's around 15 to 20 black cardamoms and then i have taken 2 tablespoons of shahi zeera or black cumin seeds half a cup of fennel seed powder or sonf powder half a cup of coriander powder or dhania powder or you can take whole coriander seeds then you have to crush them or grind them then i have taken 1 tablespoon of dry ginger powder or shonth and around 20 pieces of green cardamoms here you can see and then i have taken cloves and black pepper uh, around 10 each 10 black pepper and 10 cloves then around 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder it will be around one stick or you can use one stick that you have to crush then additionally i have taken taken coxcomb extract so i would i have used around this much this it is around 2 tablespoons of coxcomb ex, uh, that i have used and i have boiled it and taken the extract here you can see it will be around half a cup of coxcomb coxcomb or mawal is used in kashmiri cuisine for color it's used as a food color then oil it's around 1 and a half cup of mustard oil so mustard oil is important for this you have to use mustard oil only for now i am taking 1 and 1/2 cup and we'll see how much we need there is no particular quantity of oil that will be needing that we need for this all the whole spices have to be crushed only cumin seeds we are going to use like that then i have taken saffron it it's around 4 grams of saffron that i have taken here you can see that will be using so first thing is i have made a paste of garlic and prawn or shallots we have to make a paste you can make it manually also then we have to add kashmiri chili powder to it give it a mix and then add other spices that's ginger powder or shonth fennel seed powder and this is the powder of green cardamom cloves and black pepper cinnamon powder cumin seed powder salt coriander powder and black cardamom pods powder 
saffron i'm not adding rest i have added all the spices and cumin seeds whole cumin seeds i'll be adding later that i will show you so i'll mix it then i'll be adding coxcomb extract i'll be adding whole of that that's around half a cup and we have to it's mix and then we have to knead it properly then i'll be adding all of this so here you saw i i added half a cup of coxcomb extract and i had used two tablespoons of coxcomb to make this extract and then i'll be adding oil so there is no specific quantity of oil that you'll be that you need to make this so you will feel while mixing it while kneading it you will feel how much oil is needed so now i'll be using my hand to knead it properly so here you can see oil helps it to bind properly so i'll be using uh, oil accordingly so there is no specific quantity that you need that you may need more also you may need more than one and a half cup also you have to knead it properly if it becomes too runny then you have to add more chili powder or or if it's becoming stiff you have to use oil so here you can see i'm adding oil and making kneading it so we have to make like dough like consistency but we have to knead it properly so that all the spices are mixed properly and as you saw that i have added almost everything from the kashmiri spices and i have added half of the cumin seeds rest i'll be sprinkling at the top and i will keep kneading it till i get a proper dough like consistency i have used the earthen pot to give it a more authentic and traditional touch you can use any pot because nowadays we don't have earthen pots available so here you can see it's almost done and this is the final now then we have to keep it like this for a week or more uh, i live in hot climate so i'm used i'm keeping it for 3 days if you are living in kashmir or some cold and climate cold climate then you have to keep it for minimum 7 days now i'm sprinkling the remaining of the cumin seeds and as you can see i have smoothed in the surface now we have to cover it properly so i'm using a cling sheet before placing the lid because lid it's not airtight so you have to keep it airtight you can use an airtight container also make sure you use a glass container instead of plastic or any other container so i'm using this cling film before placing the lid because it has to be airtight and now i'll keep it like this for 3 days so here you can see now i'll place a lid and keep it like this i we have not added saffron yet so after 3 days the first thing that i'm keeping ready is saffron so i will crush it so here you can see we have to crush it like this to very fine strands here it's ready and now we'll open our var or kashmiri tikki so here you can see and now we will shape it i will add the saffron and i'll mix it properly and then we will shape it as i have already mentioned i'm making a proper var size and i make mini vars that can be used one time or else we have to break the take a piece from big var now here i have taken a chopping board and i have placed a cling film on this so that the stain doesn't come on it so here you can see so i'll start shape, shaping it i have taken a cookie cutter you can take any lid of small size here you can see i'm taking a cookie cutter and i'll start shaping it and then i am using a straw to make hole i don't know the history behind this why it's shaped like this or why why does it have a hole if you know please let me know in comments so here i'll use a straw to make make a hole in the middle so this is one big size were and you can see the thickness also So 
so here the big were our spice cakes are ready here you can see now we'll move to the mini ones we have to sun dry them before using now for mini words or spice cakes here you can see i have used smaller cookie cutter here you can see they're quite small and the same way i'm doing a hole in the middle So here you can see these are the mini ver or spice cakes. They are all ready to be sun dried. And this is the size you, size you will get an idea how big they are. Now I have saved a small portion that will go in the glass jar. For that we have to use extra oil it has to be the consistency has to be softer so i'm using more oil and i have greased the glass jar from inside make sure you use the glass jar for this and then you can directly use keep it in the fridge and use it you don't need to dry it Now here as you can see I am placing it in a glass jar. I had already greased the glass jar with oil. Make sure this is also airtight and then you can use directly, you can keep it in the fridge and use it. So here I have placed all the spice cakes on a tray and they are ready to be sun dried. But we have to place a cloth, piece of cloth on them so that they don't, the color doesn't fade away. We don't have to place them in direct sunlight. So I live in a hot climate so I place them for three days in sun. And after three days the ver or spice cake is ready. Here you can see they have dried properly. So here are the big ones. The mini one you don't have to use directly it in the curries we mix it with water and then we use it and this is the this is from the jar here you can see so here I'm showing you all the three that I have made this is normal usual verse size here you can see the thickness and everything and these are the mini ones. Here the flavorful and the perfect pearl or Kashmiri spice cake is ready. Give these a try and let me know in comments. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.